ECB is hiking rates into a declining uh, economic situation, uh, an, a, an inflation, a rising inflation situation, and behind all of that, there's the whole uh, energy crisis situation and the, and the war in Ukraine and the impact it's having uh, on supplies of energy in, into the rest of Europe. How bad do you think that might get? Well, I'm, you know, I'm fairly optimistic that there will be, if you like, a sort of collaborative scenario among the uh, EU member states, because at the end of the day, even if people are, in my opinion, rightly blaming Germany mostly for the predicament of being dependent on Russian gas, uh, it is nonetheless clear that if there is a full or almost full cut off by Vladimir Putin of gas supplies, well, then all of the EU will suffer. So I think in the end, the EU member states will figure out ways to reduce demand and ultimately share the available gas. That should prevent the, the, the sort of worst possible outcomes on the gas supply side. Well, I mean, that, uh, but that, would having, be, that would be that would be desirable. But, you know, there just simply isn't enough gas to go around, is it? I mean, just sort of holding hands and tightening your belts together is not going to make up for the fact that the energy usage into the winter is just not going to be sufficient. Uh, the energy supply going to the winter is not going to be sufficient. Well, I think if you look at right now, the supply situation is you've got about 64 percent of storage filled. Uh, this obviously needs to go to at least 80 percent. Uh, so, yes, it is true that if there is, for instance, a very cold winter, there's going to be supply uh, problems. There's going to have to be rationing of industrial and even household use. And that's obviously going to be politically and economically damaging for many member states. Uh, so, so there's no doubt that the EU is uh, in a potential crisis. Absolutely. Uh, and this is you know, part of the ECB's problem. They're now hiking. They have to hike because of the way, uh, you know, the, the levels of inflation. But there's also, in my opinion, no doubt that, you know, we have seen them completely abandon uh, forward guidance. I think that's the right move to do uh, at a time when uncertainty is as elevated as it is now. But, uh, you know, when you're looking at what's the potential terminal or final rate for the ECB, uh, you know, I personally don't see that rate being much above, say, one and a half, 175, uh, which is below its uh, obviously 2 percent inflation target. And I think really that is uh, what, you know, we what is reflecting the still underlying uncertainty and severe recession risk that you have at the ECB at this point in the cycle.